Hello and welcome to today's science lesson. So first of all guys, can we all say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello! And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. When you're ready guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Okay? And next we'll do our stretching sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by stretching up high. High to the sky. And then let's go down low, touch our toes. And then back up high. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And wave when we're there. And then back down to touch our toes. And now we'll stand up straight. And we'll go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, and now we'll do five stretches to our left. One, two, three, four, five. And now five to our right. One, two, three, four, five. Back to the middle, and now let's shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Stop. To finish, we'll do five star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So who can tell me what we've been learning about in science class recently? Water uses. Water is right. Very good, guys. How do we spell? W. W. Water. 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 And I heard somebody say something beginning with you that uses. uses. Okay. Water uses. U S E S. This is something that we learned about in the last science lesson. Water uses. Water uses. So who can remember some of the uses we have for water? When do we use water? Shower, excellent. S H O W E R. Shower. How about if we're thirsty, we might drink. D R I N K. Cook, excellent. How do we spell cook? O Okay. Wash, okay, we've got shower, which we can do with ourselves, but
But for clothes or for plates, dishes, we might wash. Simply say wash. W A S H. Swim. If we want to go for a swim, do we need water? Yes. yes. Could you swim without water? No. No. So we say S, S W I, I M. Shower. Shower. Drink. Drink. Cook. Cook. Wash. Wash. Swim. And one more word I just did, play. P L A Y. Okay. Pat. Sh shower. Drink. Drink. Cook. Cook. Wash. Wash. Swim. Swim. Play. Play. These are all water, water. uses. Excellent guys, well remembered, okay? And today we're going to move on. We're not going to talk about water uses. We're going to talk about something called water properties. Properties. Okay, P R O P. E R T I E S Water Properties Okay, does anybody have any idea what does properties mean? Any idea about properties? Any guesses? Anybody want to guess? Properties, properties, what does properties mean? Okay, properties is the way something looks okay so we can say in bracket properties the t h e way w a y the way something looks l O O K S. So properties, the way something looks. And we're going to focus on two particular types of properties, okay? We're going to look at shape. Shape is our first one. S H A P E. So we're going to look at the shape of water. And anyone got any ideas about the second property? First property, shape. There's one more. Excellent. Gold star for prayer. Color. The next property, C O L O R of water okay so this lesson involves a couple of practical experiments where we're going to examine shape of water, shape of water. and color of water. color of water this is how we will better understand water properties and that word again, properties, what does it mean? The way, the the way something looks. looks. Two main ones, shape and colours. Excellent guys, well done. <laughs> and now for our first activity, which is to discover the shape of water. What you can see is I have prepared four different clear glass containers for water. We have square, circle, tall, short, square, circle, tall, short. 
and what I have, I have a jug, a metal jug that contains water. And what we're going to do is we're going to investigate what will happen to the shape of water when it goes into the various glasses. So group number one, Lakgao and Chu, in your glass, what do you observe when teacher pours the water into the glass? What shape is the glass? Square. Square. So what shape is the water? Square. Square. Excellent. You can see the water will change shape depending on the shape of the container. And now for group number two, we have Bangpon and Prel. What shape is your container? Circle. Circle. So what will happen when I t pour the water into the glass? What shape is the water? Circle. Yes, you can see the shape of the glass is circle, so the water will change shape to suit and match the container. Next, we have group number three, net and down. Here we have a tall glass. So let's see, what do we think will happen when the water goes into the glass? Does the water go tall? Yeah. Yes. yes, because the glass is tall, we fill the water. Is the water square? No. 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 The square container has the square water. Is the water a circle? No. No. The circle container has the circle water. This is the tall container. Okay, and now for our final group, we have Nadia and Pat. And what container do you have? Short. short. So let's see what happens with the short container. We enter the water into the container. Is the water tall? Short. short, exactly. This is the tall container. This is the short container. So altogether, guys, you can see that the water matches the container it's poured into. We have circle, a square, square, square. circle, tall, tall, short. Okay, guys, now if you can help me, can you pour your water back into the container? Group one. Okay, you can pour it in. Excellent. You can see the water changes shape again to go into the container. And now... Does the water change shape again? You see, the water goes back into the container. So the water changes shape back into the jug. Excellent, Dan. And our final group, Nadia. Excellent. So what we'll do, we're going to practice this one more time. And to do that, we're going to change the containers. So let's see. We'll change them two groups there, and we will change these two groups here. But now, we'll predict what will happen before. Group one, what glass do you have? Tall. Tall. Group two, what glass do you have? Short. Group three, what glass do you have? And Nadia and Pat, group four, what glass do you have? Circle. Circle. So let's have a prediction. What will happen to your water? Will it go tall? Yeah. Yes, because your container is tall. tall. Group two, what will happen with your container, with your water? Short. Short, because the container is short. Group three? Square. Square. And group four? Circle. Okay. Group one, you can add your water. Okay, so let's see what happens. Excellent. You can see the water filling up to the top of the glass. Perfect. Excellent, you. And now we can say the water is tall. Okay, now for group two, you can enter your water. Perfect. Okay, not too much. That's just about right. 
So, is this glass tall? No. No, it's short. So what shape is the water? Short. And now, group number three. Well done, Ned. That's excellent. And you can see, what shape is the water, guys? What shape is the water? Square. Square. It's square because the container is square. The water changes shape depending on the container it's poured into. And our final group, Pat and Nadia, what shape do you have? Circle. Circle. So let's pour the water into the circle glass. Excellent. Well done, guys. So now, what colour is your, uh, what shape is your water? Circle. Circle. Because the container is circle, the water is circle. So one more time, guys. Group one, tall. Group two, short. short. Group three, square. square. Group four, circle. Excellent. So this tells us shape of water Shapeless. 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 Water does not have a shape. Water will change depending on the container. So we can say water is shapeless. Excellent, guys. That was well done. Round of applause. <laughs> and now it's time for our second activity. This time we're going to look at the colour of water. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add some water to each of the group's glasses. So group one, Lak Gao and Chu. Group two, Bang Pon and Preo. Group three, Net and Down. And group four, Nadia and Pet. So, I have a question for all of you. Group one, what colour is your water? White. 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 Or no colour. Water has no, no colour. Group two, what colour is your water? Not have colour. Not have colour, exactly. No colour. Group three? No colour. No Water does not have colour. And group four, your water. Not have colour. Okay, excellent. But what we can do to show how the colour of water can change is we have each now got a different colour of water colourer. And what we're going to do is take turns to add the colour to our glasses and see how that affects the colour of water. So group one, Lak Gao and Xu, can you add your colour? What colour are you adding? Green. Green. So Chu, can you give yours a stare? Excellent. Can you see? Look at what's happening to the colour. Look what's happening to the colour of the water. It's changing depending on the colour we add to it. What colour is the water now? Green. You see, water has no colour and it will change depending on what we oh, add to it. Group one, what is the colour of your water now? Green. Excellent. And now we'll have a look at group two. Group two, what colour will you add to your water? <coughs> we have blue. Okay, so let's see. Blue going in and then can we give it a stare? Excellent, bang pun. And you see, look at the colour of the water change. What colour is the water now? Blue. It's blue. You see, group one's colour, green. Group two's colour, blue. Group three, what colour do you have? Sky blue. Sky blue. Can you add sky blue to your water? Excellent, just a little drop. There we go. And then Ned, can you give it a stir? 
And what you'll see, you'll see the water begin to change. There you go. Look at that. Excellent, Ned. Well done. And now for group four. Group four, what colour do you have? Red. Red. So let's add some red to the water. Very good. And now, Pat, you can give it a stir. Okay, you can see, and the water is changing to red. Can you stir it a bit more? Okay, excellent. Well done, guys. So, group one, what colour water do we have? Green. Group two? Blue. 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 Group three? Sky blue. Sky blue. And group four? Red. Red or pinkish red. So, that proves water has no colour. And what water will do, it will change depending on what added to it. So well done, guys. Good experiment. <laughs> so now we'll do it one more time, and our students have decided to change their colours. So group one, what colour do you have now? Purple. Purple. Group two? <coughs> White. Group three? Orange. And group four? Okay, so first of all, I will add the water. What colour has water got? No, no. no colour. Water is colourless. You can see, as I pour it, it's see-through. You can see through water, and that shows that it is colourless. So there's our four containers again. Can anybody remember the shape of our containers? Group one, you have... Short, square, tall, circle. Okay, so group one, can you now add your colour? Excellent, you. You can add some in. Well done. And like how you can brush it, stir it in. Excellent. And you can see straight away the colour of the water has now become. What colour have we got, guys? Purple. Excellent. And now, time for group number two. So what colour will we add to the container? White. 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 Let's add white to the container and see what happens. So this shows that water has no colour because it's not white now, but once we add the white colour, you will see the water turns white. What colour is the water now? White. Yes. Excellent. And now for group number three. Orange. Orange. Okay. Ned, can you add your colour? Very good. Excellent. And down. Can you stir it? And straight away you can see the colour of the water is becoming... What colour, guys? Orange. And finally, group four. What colour do we have, guys? Yellow. Yellow. Okay, let's add yellow. Excellent, Pat. And Nadia, can you give that a stir for us? And we will see straight away the water is turning what colour? Yellow. Yellow. Excellent. So you can see water is colourless. It has no colour because it will change depending on the colour we put into it. So, group one, what colour? Purple. <coughs> what shape? Short. Okay, group two, what colour? White. White. What shape? Square. Square. Group three, what colour? Orange. And what shape? Tall. Tall. Group four, what colour? Yellow. Yellow. And what shape? Circle. Excellent. So this shows the two properties of water. The shape of water, shapeless, has no shape. The shape of water will change depending on the container. And the colour of water, guys, no colour. So we say colourless. Because the colour of water changes depending on what we add into it. And that was very well done, guys. So, round of applause. Excellent. 
So we hope your students enjoyed the activities to working out the properties of water. And the first property we looked at, guys, shape of water. Excellent. And what shape did we say water had? No shape. Okay. So we know that water is shapeless. S H A P E L E S S. Water is shapeless. It has no shape. The shape of water changes depending on the container it's poured into and next we looked at color of water what color has water got no color so we say water is color less c o l o r l e S S water is colorless because if we add pink to water the water becomes pink if we add yellow to water what color does the water become yellow, yellow. if we add red to water it becomes red so you see water is colorless and shapeless okay guys so well done well worked out And now it's time for our stretch activity. So everybody please stand up and push in your chairs. And we'll begin by walking on the spot. Stop. Walking on the spot again. And now let's jog. Stop. Jog. Stop. Jog. Quickly. Stop. Turn left. Turn left again. And left. Left again. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and now walking on the spot. Stop. Jogging on the spot. Stop. Turn right. Turn right again, turn right, and turn right again. Hello. Hello. And now we'll go down into a ball. Five, four, three, two, one, jump. Excellent. And to finish, we'll do five more jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent guys, have a seat. And now, teachers, it's time for our worksheet activity. And for this activity, all we want our children to do is to draw a picture of a water container. Now the students so far have learned that water is shapeless and colourless. So our students now need to think by themselves. They need to draw a picture of water in a container. And the water can be any shape and any colour. So they have to think by themselves of drawing the picture and then writing the sentence. And I will help them by writing a sentence that they can use on the board too. But what's the first thing we must do guys? Write our names on top. So give each student in your class a clear sheet of A4 paper and give them around 20 minutes to complete this activity because they have to draw a picture, colour it and then write a sentence too. So here we go guys. Nadia, you're you. welcome. Down. Thank you. You're welcome. Ned. Thank you. You're welcome. Prel. Thank you. Pangpon. Thank you. You're welcome. Lakkao. Thank you. Okay and chew. Thank you. You're welcome. So think guys, in our activity, what shapes did we use? We had circle, square, square. Tall, tall, 
Short. And what colours did we have? Yellow. Pink. Red. Orange. Brown. So you can choose one shape and one colour and you can draw your water in a container. So it could be circle and orange or square and brown. And then I will help you to write the sentence. But first of all, write your name on top and then draw your picture. So you see guys, once you've drawn your picture, you can then write the sentence, the water in my container is, a word here for your shape, and a word here for your colour, okay? So if your, if your shape is circle, you will write circle, and if your colour is red, you will write red. So use this sentence and change your words for your shape and your colour. If you need any help with spelling or writing, let me know. I'm very good guys, I'm seeing some good shapes already. Bang pong, very good. So we could say that one, remember, tall. Yes, tall. If you need tall, T-A-L-L. -L. And for the smaller glass, we had short. You could say S-H-O-R-T. Square glass would be S-Q-U-A-R-E. So if you need any help spelling the words, let me know. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to create their own drawings of water in a container and the shape and colour depending on our students design. And you can see my students have made some really excellent designs. Really proud to see their great drawings. So guys, back to today's lesson. We learnt about, are you ready? Water properties. And we learned that water is <coughs> shapeless. Water is shapeless. And water is colourless. Excellent. That was very well remembered. So that's all for today's lesson. We hope you had a great time, found it interesting and had some fun too. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we all wave goodbye, guys? Bye-bye. See you again next time.